Good morning. I am coming to you from the bathroom here in Von Prachen Hostel in Luang Prabang. I'm in the bathroom because trying to get any kind of peace and quiet in any hostel is really difficult because there's people around everywhere and you have no space to yourself. So last night the craziest fucking thing happened. So there's this Australian guy in my room and he was just chugging this bottle of whiskey. So when I went to bed, he actually got in someone else's bed and was just like man-hugging them for a while. But eventually this guy managed to get him to leave and turn off the lights, go to sleep. And right now I am listening to a lot of sleep hypnosis playlists. So I drifted off into this long, deep, trance-like sleep. And about an hour into that, I start to hear some shouting in the room. Now noise in a hostel room is no stranger, it happens all the time, so I just tried to ignore it, figuring that eventually it would stop and I could just roll over and go back to sleep. But after a while, everyone else in the room starts shouting as well, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I take out my headphones and everyone's saying, stop fucking pissing, stop pissing, go back to bed, the bathroom's there. So it turns out this Australian guy has got out of bed and started pissing out the window. But it wasn't just out the window, it was also down the wall and on the floor and kind of just everywhere. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like I was just in this deep ass sleep. So once he's done pissing, um, he then can't get back up to his own bed and I was the bunk below him. So he just climbs right onto my bed while I'm like still in this state of absolute shock. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like get out of my bed, I'm trying to sleep, you just piss next to me. And he like just ignores me flat out, like he's like rolling around, like passing out. So I'm like shaking him and like waking him and yelling at him like, can you please get out of my bed? Like I need to go to sleep, this is really weird. This carried on for like 10 solid minutes. I was pushing him, punching him, like shaking him, I hit him with the pillar. I actually dragged him out of my bed a couple of times and he just clawed his way back in. I was like, what the fuck is going on? This guy's insane. Um, and I couldn't tell if he was just like joking around, being like a, a bit of a drunk dick or, you know, if there was something actually going on. But from the way that he was talking, he was saying some wild, crazy shit. But in between these kind of weird sentences that he was saying, he was saying a lot of kind of unintelligible nonsense. I figured he must be sleepwalking. It was exactly like that scene from Step Brothers where he was making these crazy faces. He was going like, you know? He was like, his eyes were open. He was like laughing and smiling and reacting to what I was doing like when I was trying to get him out of the bed. So I was like, is he awake? Is he asleep? So after trying everything to get him out of the bed, everyone else in the room by this point is awake and all the lights are on, we're shining lights in his eyes and like he's not moving. And everyone's like, dude, you either gotta get him out of your bed or just like go to sleep because we all need to sleep as well. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. I can't sleep with this guy in my bed. And eventually I just found another bed in the room that had been vacated earlier that day. Hadn't been cleaned yet, but <laughs> it was better than sharing a bed with a crazy drunk Australian. And after I moved to the other bed, I really couldn't sleep all night because it was such a traumatizing experience. Like this guy is super lucky that this happened to him in a room full of guys who were all pretty chill and you know, having a good time or whatever. Because if he was in a room full of girls and he did that shit, Man, he would have got himself into some serious trouble. So this morning he comes over to me with his uh, tail between his legs while I'm eating breakfast, like profusely apologizing. And of course, like I'm a forgive and forget kind of person, so I was just like, it's cool, don't worry. But he had no recollection of the whole thing. So anyway, that was my horror story night of last night. That's the craziest thing that's happened to me in a hostel so far. Every night pretty much has been a peaceful night's sleep, but last night was eventful to say the least. We've come back to Bamboo Garden for one last meal before we get the bus down to Viang Viang. So I've gone for a avocado sandwich because I've exhausted all of the other vegetarian options at this restaurant. Um, but I love avocados, so that's fine. <laughs> this is Jackson, the sleepwalker culprit. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> we are getting on the bus to Viang Viang, just loading up the backpack, and then we will be on our way. See you later, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze, huh? <laughs> oh my god. So the guy who's driving our minivan tried to tell us that he wanted us to be in the van when he was trying to attempt this maneuver, but we all refused and made him let us get out because we were fucking scared. On the plus side, the view is lovely up here. It was really hot in the van and I'm sat in the middle at the back, which is probably the most uncomfortable seat. So it's nice to get out and stretch my legs and see this nice view, even if we are nearly dying. Yeah, he's gonna made it! What the fuck? <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so glad he let us out for this. Yeah. All right, we just got to Bang Bien after the bus ride from hell. There was a brief moment where we were worried about our safety because, I don't know, a lot of the girls in the bus started screaming and it got pretty scary, but then it turned out we were fine, so no big deal. We are just uh, walking to find a hostel. We haven't actually booked it, but we're gonna rock up and see what happens. We had a little look online and found something that we liked earlier, so fingers crossed it'll be nice. And then it'll be dinner time, I think. So we are staying at a place called Army Barracks Hostel. Um, it's all army themed, which is pretty cool, even though I'm a pacifist. And it is 40,000 kip per night, and we don't pay until we leave, so pretty chilled. It looks like a nice place. Nice vibe, good people, having fun. I look gross, never mind. Cheers! <laughs> So we just checked in to the new hostel and we are sitting down having a nice glass of whiskey which is free in happy hour. Served best over ice. Just got myself a lovely bit of pad kapow. I've not tried this before. Vegetable and tofu, so fingers crossed that's gonna be lovely. I'm gonna have it with a nice beer lao before heading out for a couple of drinks later. So guys, I hope you enjoyed joining me on my nightmare of a journey to here in Vang Vien. We have had a fun night out and now it is time for a lovely little sleep. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. It would really help me out. I will see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>